So on June 25th, 2024, Notion released Notion Sites. This came with a lot of cool features. One of the features in particular is the option to edit your headers. And so one of the questions I kept getting after the release of Notion Sites was, hey, how do I actually change the toggle for duplication. I don't see that anymore in the share menu. So there's a couple things that actually changed in the share menu with this release. And so I want to go through how to actually, number one, address that question, how to actually uh, duplicate or turn on or off duplication. And then number two, how to toggle the other options in your default header that you get in, um, you know, when you publish a site. So first off, let's go to just a simple page here. And spoiler, this is the process of how you actually toggle on or off duplication. So the old way was it was in the actual publish menu. So if we go to share, then we go to publish, and then we hit publish. Uh, the old way actually had an option here that said allow duplication. You can just toggle that on or off. Now, with the update here, it, it's taking that feature, the allow duplication feature, and pushed it into this site customization option. So uh, what we're going to do is, before we get into it, I want to just show you what the default header looks like when you actually hit publish. And then we'll go into how to tweak each of the elements of that header and turn on or off uh, those elements. So let's go to view site here. And so you can see on the top left, we have this breadcrumb section here, which is uh, to help you trace back uh, if you came from another page. Um, then on the right, we have a search option. Uh, we have a duplicate option. Uh, we have these three dots. Uh, in here, we have sign up or log in to Notion, a report page, and then cookie settings. And then very last, but certainly not least, we have the built with Notion watermark. And so we actually have the option to tweak all of these options and turn them off except for these three dots here. So let's go through that one by one. And so I'm going to start with how to toggle duplication. So let's start from the basics. So let's say you published your site. So let's actually take one step back. So let's say you haven't published your site yet. So you publish your site. Now you have this option and now let's go to site customization. And then in site customization, you have a few different options. You can change the actual way things look to dark. You can match it to the system. I just keep it light, you know, whatever, you, you know, whatever you prefer you can do. Uh, you can change the favicon if you want. That's a little, uh, this little, uh, you know, icon here. Um, and then the header is where we're going to go. So header, you can toggle on or off all these features. And so duplicate as template. That is the feature that we're talking about. You can just turn this off right there. And so it get rid gets rid of that little icon to duplicate. A search you can get rid of, boom. And then the breadcrumbs you can get rid of too. So now all we have is these three dots and then built with Notion. Now, if we wanted to get rid of this Notion watermark, you could uh, basically upgrade this site to a uh, custom domain. You'd have to pay uh, the fee and, uh, you know, add your own domain and you would be able to toggle this on and off. But on the version where you just hit publish and it becomes a live site and it's still a Notion domain. So if it's a notion.site, um, it doesn't allow you to do that. And so, uh, you know, in this tutorial, we won't go through that. But if you want to go through that, you're going to have to upgrade to a um, custom domain. So anyway, that is what it looks like. So we can just hit publish changes. And so if we go to view site now, you can see here, the only thing we have here are the three dots here and then the built with Notion banner. So this is what it looked like before. We had the breadcrumbs, the search, duplicate, these three dots and the Notion. And now after we've made the changes, um, it, it's just these two things on the side. So if we actually refresh this one too, it'll get rid of all of that. So that's how you toggle that on and off. Um, again, how you get to that is you go to the share menu, publish, then site customization, and then header within there. And then you can easily just turn all these back on if you want, just hit publish, and then it'll push those changes through. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.